It's a pink jumper sort of day. Welcome back to another video guys. Today is the 22nd of June 2017. Let me tell you something, if you're watching this video on my Herder Buffalo channel and you're subscribed to the channel, which I hope you would be, two years ago today, a lot of you will probably remember this, we hit a million subscribers. Now, I know since then I've been a bit slow, it's not really gone from a million to two million, but two years ago today, was probably one of the proudest days of my life. I just thought I'd bring that up. It was Facebook on this day that told me about that. So yeah, today's a big day, today's a good day. And I wanted to make this video today because I feel like it's given me like a bit of a boost in terms of wanting to make videos for this channel again. I know you've not seen very much recently and you're probably frustrated with me. I've, I've been frustrated for five years on YouTube. It's not just recently, it's been, the whole time I've been on here, I'm like, nope, changing, 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 doing this, doing this, doing this. It alienates people, I get that, but I'm just trying to enjoy my life the best that I can, make the content I want to create, and I want to make this video today talking about Chelsea Football Club, FIFA 18, Strikers. Who's it going to be? Second thing though, before we do that, is you're probably wondering why I'm so tanned right now. I was in Los Angeles for E3, Xbox took me out there. There's vlogs on my vlog channel, link is in the description. If you want to go and see those, I post probably more videos there than I do here. So if you're missing my videos and you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, Link is in the description, go subscribe. I'm close to 204,000 subscribers. That'll be cool to hit that today. But anyway, I am gonna talk now about what I was here to do in the first place. It was also very cold this morning and now it is really hot. Another thing is when I got back from LA, I think I've lost my microphone. So if this sounds awful, I can only apologize. I've not got my mic on it, I'm just using the inbuilt microphone because I put it in my shoe. Who, don't ask why I put my microphones in my shoe, I put them in my suitcase and now I can't find the microphone and it wasn't in the shoe. So, so I'm going to be approaching this video from the perspective that Diego Costa will not be involved at Chelsea next season. I feel like he's probably going to stay because he only wants to move to Atletico and they can't actually make a signing to be able to play them in the summer. So I think they can sign him in January, or they can sign him now, but he couldn't play till January. I think that is how it works. I've not done too much research on it. Costa's come out and said he only wants to go to Atletico Madrid. Obviously, that isn't going to be particularly feasible yet, so maybe it could get messy for Costa at Chelsea. It could make things difficult for Chelsea, whatever. But we're going to go make this video on the parameters that Costa is not going to be playing for Chelsea next season. Even though I love him, I'm a big Diego Costa fan, that's how we're approaching this. Whether I think it's actually going to happen and whether they're actually going to sign for Chelsea this summer. So the first one is one that we've been talking about for months. It's Alvaro Morata from Real Madrid. Obviously he was at Juventus a couple seasons ago, did well there. He's come back to Real Madrid, he's not done too bad, but he's not really had as many opportunities as he would have liked. He's still a very good player. They're talking something along the lines of 70 million pounds. Now, I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. The transfer market, footballers, it's gone a little bit nuts. It's too wild to even comprehend what is fair anymore. But if we're going to sign him, it's going to be for around a 70 million fee. Can he do it in the Premier League? He's got, he's got the build to be a decent striker in the Premier League. Do I want to see him at Chelsea though? That's another question. In terms of the potential, I think there's more chance of him actually going to Man United now. He said that he wanted to work under Antonio Conte, so if we are looking to sign him, that is in Chelsea's favour. The fact he's actually come out and said that in the past. But, my opinion, three out of five. I think there's better strikers on the market for around the same price. Better strikers that are more suited to the way we play and the Premier League. So I'm going to give it a three. You can tell I've not done these videos for a while. Every time I start talking, my voice just goes croaky. So player number two that we've got on the screen is, of course, Everton's Romelu Lukaku. Now, this has been going on for a long time as well. And funnily enough, yet again... It's Chelsea and Man United, the two main English clubs that are linked with this player. There's been a few other clubs in Europe that they've been, you know, coveting Lukaku because of his great goal scoring record, the fact he's young. He's obviously a very good player. He's scoring goals for fun in the Premier League for Everton. He did it at West Brom as well. Didn't quite work out for him first time at Chelsea, which at first made me think, you know what, do I really want to see him back at Chelsea considering we're going to have to spend what could be a world record fee, probably not, but close to the world record Pogba fee to get him back at Chelsea just a couple of years later. It's, it was tough, but at the same time, I look at the scoring record that he's got and the fact that he's a very good player, and I think that with the service we could provide him with the likes of Fabregas, Hazard, Pedro, Willian, these sort of players that can feed him balls and put it in the air and all that stuff, he could literally do anything. He probably could score 25 league goals in a season for us, which we've not had a striker score 25 goals since Didier Drogba. So Lukaku, in my opinion, it's got a lot of potential. I think there's been a lot of strong talks about it. I think he's again said 
He wants to come back to Chelsea. He's got unfinished business there. He needs to be playing Champions League football. Everton obviously don't have Champions League football. He is a Champions League standard player. The main worry that I have about him though is can he do it in the Champions League? He seems to drift away a little bit in the bigger matches. Can he do it for us? Considering we want to be challenging for titles, not just European places. I don't know, but I do have faith that he'll score a lot of goals, which tells me that that's what a striker's job is. He would be good for Chelsea. I'm going to give it a four for potential. And in terms of my opinion, I think I probably prefer him to Morata just because of that Premier League calibre that he's already got. So I'm giving it a four. That's an eight out of 10, that is high. Now I really need some water for this one. Lewandowski. It's one of those where you just look on Twitter and you see that Sky Sports have tweeted something. BBC Sport have tweeted something. You get a little bit excited. It was, yeah, yesterday when all of this news came out or supposed news, fake news, if it may be, we don't really know at this point. It's still very early. That's why I'm doing this video now because I want to see like what you guys think in the comments as well. Lewandowski to Chelsea. Now, in my opinion, there's only two strikers in the world that I'd really want in my club if we're talking like money's no option. Luis Suarez is number one for me, even though he's obviously got a bit of a history against Chelsea. I love Luis Suarez. Number two is Lewandowski. Now, he's a goal scoring machine, 50 goals in his last 50 odd games for Bayern Munich. is ridiculous. I think that was just last season alone as well. Unbelievable goal scoring machine. He's, yeah, he's not young, but he's not old, so he's still in his prime right now, so it's a great time to be buying a striker who can fire on all cylinders in the Champions League and hopefully in the Premier League too. He's got the build to be able to work in the Premier League. Is this going to happen? No. Great way to kill the vibe, but it's not going to happen. I don't think. Apparently, he's come out and Bayern have come out and said that no talks have been held. Not sure where this news has actually officially come from, even if it is official. I think it's a load of rubbish, to be honest, but two out of five stars for potential. However, to wrap this up, Lewandowski, in my opinion, would be perfect for Chelsea. Lewandowski to Chelsea. Do I think it's going to happen? No. Would I like to see it happen? Yes. He's unbelievable. But sometimes we can't get what we want, especially in football. Not everyone can win the league. But yeah, you can see from the FIFA cards that we've had on this video that Lewandowski would probably be the highest rated FIFA card if he was to sign of all of those strikers that could be potentially signing for Chelsea. Lewandowski would be the highest rated. What do you think? Do Chelsea need another striker if Diego Costa stays? Does Diego Costa even want to stay? And will he just go off in January, in which case we'll be left with Batshuayi, which again, we don't really know much about him. Is he good enough to fire for the Champions League and the Premier League? Probably not, but we don't really know. Chelsea need to buy a striker. It's looking very likely that it could be one of these three. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Before we go though, there was something else I wanted to say and it's completely bypassed my mind. I've got my notebook, but it was literally just with this written on it about potential and opinion. If you want to see more videos like this one where we're talking about potential transfers and transfers that are happening, obviously I'm going to do Premier League predictions, but I'm probably going to wait a little bit closer to the beginning of the season when clubs have actually spent a bit of money and we know what players people have got to work with. So there's been talks of like Ronaldo to Man United, Aubameyang to Liverpool. If you want me to discuss those transfers, what I think is going to happen, whether I think it'll be a good deal for that club, let me know in the comments down below. Particularly though, what you think about the Chelsea striker situation. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you're excited for more transfer videos like this, be sure to leave a like rating. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so it feels good to be back. I'm actually going to be doing something very big on this channel soon, which I won't tell you yet, but it's going to be happening. And it could be a bit of a surprise or a shock for some of you. But yeah, I'm going to leave that one with you. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.